What if I told you that New York police officers were transporting prostitutes and getting thousands of dollars to provide transportation for prostitutes? And then what if you found out they're not even prostitutes? They're actually undercover prostitutes trying to catch people like them. That's exactly what happened. According to recently made public records, two now former NYPD officers were busted when the sex workers they were driving. Come to find out they're undercover officers, all right? Let's put up a picture of Michael Sardone. That's Michael Sardone. Who was allowed to retire before being disciplined for this activity? He was also a youth coordination officer. Let's put up a picture of the precinct. Part of the 106 precinct, we got this from Facebook. He managed to conveniently retire right before the hearing took place to hold him accountable. Uh, We do not have a photo yet of his partner in crime, Thomas Diorio. Diorio was a 20 year veteran um, who has filed for retirement as well. uh, And uh, skipped the departmental trial, which is mandated because he retired. He was allowed to do this. Both of them were allowed to commit criminal acts and then retire with zero penalty. Now, let me give you some background. Um, this is according to the New York Post. Sardone, the officer you saw at first, uh, was the subject of an unrelated investigation. Keep that in mind, unrelated investigation. When one of his colleagues posing as a prostitute asked him in early April if he was interested in driving her and a few other girls to dates because their regular driver was sick. We're not street girls, you know, we're like high end. The undercover told Sardone in a recorded phone call. Sex for money, so it's simple. It's just picking us up, dropping us off, she explained in the subsequent meeting. Sardone, who was told he'd be paid $1,000 or possibly more, and he said he'd do it and that he had someone who would help. That's according to the records. On three separate occasions in April, and May, Diorio, a 20 year veteran of the NYPD and Sardone, met the undercover escorts at a diner parking lot and drove them to and from hotels in Manhattan and Queens, according to the records. On the first occasion on April 9th, the undercover officer paid Sardone and Diorio $4,000 for a ride to and from a Manhattan hotel where they met another undercover cop posing as a John, okay? Now get this, who also tipped the two officers $100 each. A few weeks later, the cops were paid $2,000 for the same service and were asked to help out in mid May. There was even an instance, ladies and gentlemen, when one of the undercover officers posing as a John, um, They were asked to basically rough somebody up, okay? Here's the problem with this, and I'm not moralizing on uh, uh, sex work at all. Here's the problem. If these cops are willing to do this for money, they're corrupt. What else are they willing to do for money? Do you think that if they are willing to rough up people based on you paying them money? If they're willing to break the law and commit felonies as long as you pay them money? What else do you think they are capable of as officers of the law? So that's the personal approach. Here's the system approach. The system of law enforcement is allowing them to completely get away with it. That's the system. The system says we will let you retire at this point of the hearing to hold you accountable. Now you get off 100% free. System, person. Hand, glove. Trey, what are your thoughts? Well, I mean, I agree with both things you just said, but also, and I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but I just think it's kind of funny the things the department will actually hold them accountable for, or at least start to. Do you know what I mean? Like all this, everything going on with police brutality and whatnot, and they hold the thin blue line, you know, but they'll go after 
that they'll do a whole sting operation to stop cops from like doing security for sex workers. You know what I'm saying? Like it just seems kind of like what happened to them, you know, having each other's backs all the times, so even when you know, shooting someone who's unarmed is involved. But when it comes to this, they're willing to take each other down. It just seems like a really weird double standard, not to mention the fact that they then completely get away with it, you know? So it's just like rotten all the way around. Yes, all the way around. Uh, There was an instance where cocaine was involved, nothing happened. Um, One police source with more than two, two decades on the job told the post that if those men would have been minority officers, they would have been fired and arrested. Isn't that something?